السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today's uh, hadith is by Abu Hudayra رضي الله عنه and there's two versions to the hadith we'll go through both of them they're very short Abu Hudayra رضي الله عنه he narrates from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said حق المسلم على المسلم خمسا that the Muslim the believer upon him are five rights right from another believer and the next narration which is the uh, the other variation of this is mentioned six he says that raddu salam number one is raddu salam that if someone says salam to you then returning that salam replying to that salam this is a right that a muslim has upon another muslim number two is iyadatul marid that if a believer falls sick, you know, then that believer should be visited. That's the right upon them that other believers should be visiting them, visiting him or her. Uh, that if a person passes away, that people, they flock towards that janaza, towards that uh, funeral, they follow it and they go to the graveyard as well. Because Imagine if everyone just thought that, you know, it's not my responsibility, that person passes away, who would do it, right? So this is a right upon, every, it's a right upon every Muslim that they have to fulfill this. Ijabatu da'wah, that if a person is invited somewhere and, you know, it is an environment that is, uh, you know, worthy of going to and is a permissible environment, then it's a, a haq a right on that person that they accept that you know that invitation whether it's you know to their house or whether it's you know somewhere else the invitation is given that invitation should be accepted uh, if there is no other um, you know uh, thing that is planned at that time and then lastly the fifth one that if a person sneezes responding to that sneeze right uh, if a person sneezes and then they say alhamdulillah we respond with Yarhamukullah. Right? And then if the person says that, then the, the person who sneezes, he responds with Yahdikumullah. This is uh, you know this is important, these are words that are important to learn and make sure that we're pronouncing them correctly as well. We don't want to mess up the meaning. And then from the the other variation, there's basically we already covered five, so I'll just share the sixth one. That wa ida is uh sahaka fan sahlahu. That if a person asks for advice, you know, if he is, you know, genuinely asking for advice, then make sure to advise that person if you are qualified and if you have the information. Many times when we are not uh, suitable to give advice, we love giving advice, right? So this is not that. That's not. This is not the case. The case is if someone asks you for advice and you have expertise or you are qualified, then to give advice. These are the six rights that a Muslim has upon another Muslim. It's not mentioned over here, but one thing to keep in mind is with all of these rights, there are different adab, there are different etiquettes, and these are something that we have to learn, inshallah, we'll go into different detail with it. Like for example, saying salam, right, or visiting uh, the sick, how should it be done? You know, many times we have the habit of, and I mentioned this in the Jum'ah as well, where we say salam to someone, but we're not facing them, or we're not, we're not actually looking at them. We're not paying attention, we're just saying salam. Right, this is just one adab. Another adab, for example, if two people are having a conversation, we go in the middle to say salam. This is not part of the etiquettes. Um, you know, our teacher would always uh, tell, remind us as well, like, you know, when you enter into a gathering or you enter in the masjid, sometimes people have the habit where they say salam out loud, right? Entering a gathering and then uh, first, like you're, you're basically disrupting the gathering by saying salam. So this is actually against the adab. We think that, you know, we're doing a, something virtuous by saying salam but it's actually against the etiquettes of salam when we enter into a gathering and sing salam. Rather, if a gathering is happening, or if people are sit seated in the masjid, or they're praying their sunnah or reading Qur'an, we just quietly enter, and we just do our own thing. And then individually say salam to someone. It's not something that needs to be announced. So this is part of the adab. There are other adab as well, of like for example, when it comes to the janaza or visiting the sick, or you know, uh, responding to the sneeze. Right, so many times what happens is someone sneezes before he's even finished like moving his hand from his nose, the other person says, Yarhamukullah. 
like uh, let me say alhamdulillah first and then you go ahead and say alhamdulillah you know so there's these are these etiquettes inshallah we'll go through some inshallah when we have a chance may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all understanding may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to fulfill the rights of our muslim brothers and sisters amin wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin سبحانك اللهم وحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم انت السلام ولك السلام وتبارك ذا الجلال والاكرام ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم اجرنا من النار اللهم اجرنا من خزي الدنيا وعذاب الاخره اللهم قنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب الحشر وقنا فتنه المسيح الدجال لا اله الا انت سبحانك انا كنا من الظالمين اللهم ادخلنا الجنه بغير حساب اللهم ادخلنا الجنه بغير حساب وتوفنا مسلمين غير خزايا ولا ندام ولا مفتونين اللهم انا نسالك رضاك والجنه ونعوذ بك من سخطك وغضبك والنار ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا اللهم انا نسالك من خير ما سالك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وانت المستعان عليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ورحمه